Oh yeah. Hey guys, right here, welcome to the channel. I like to explore power options when the power goes out. So today I am testing to see if adding an extra battery to my home power system will enhance the performance of the inverters that I have here. So I added an extra inverter here so I could start my three ton air conditioner. The only problem that I have is that my lights are slightly dimming when my air conditioner starts. Now, when I made that video, a lot of people were saying, you know what, you're having too much strain on one battery. Probably some, you're seeing some voltage drop. Add an extra battery and it'll probably fix it. So even though these are starting my air conditioner, let's see if adding an extra battery will fix the dimming issue that I'm seeing with my lights. So guys, I am super excited to add this battery. Now, most commercial power systems like the Tesla Powerwalls, they come with a battery about this same size. It's 15 kWh, kilowatt hours. Now, I don't think that's enough because during the summer, this battery does not last me that long because I'm trying to run my air conditioner, cool down my house. It runs me about till like 9 p.m. Even during the fall, I'm also seeing that this one battery isn't even lasting me through the night when I'm not running my air conditioner. Now, these are all the solar panels I installed on the side of my house. These are brand new solar panels from Santan Solar. Really liked this system I have here. However, I'm in an off-grid situation, meaning I'm not back feeding into the grid right now. So this solar array can top that single battery off really fast, even during the summer when I'm running my air conditioner. And then the solar really has nowhere to go. It's just being wasted right now. So that is one more reason why I'm really excited to have this extra battery for my system. Okay, before we add the second battery to the system, I just wanna see how much inrush we have when we start the air conditioner on a single battery. So here's the specifications on my air conditioner. See this number right here, 36A. So if I divide that by 12, I have three. So this is a, a three ton air conditioner. Now I have both of these inverters connected in parallel. I have a power distribution block here that combines the output of the two units and then it sends the total output down the red L1 and the black L2 into my main electrical panel. Now I have a full build of this video earlier so feel free to check that out if you want to learn more. But the red wire and the black wire, those are the, that's the total output of the system here going into my house. Now this isn't gonna measure just the air conditioner, it's gonna run measure everything that's coming out of my house. Now let's make sure that we're on battery power when we're doing this test. So I'm gonna turn my main electrical panel, I'm gonna turn my main grid off to my house. So I should be running it straight on batteries. And let's go ahead and turn the solar off as well. So we're just gonna be pulling straight from the battery. Okay, before we start the air conditioner, let's see what the base load is for the house. Because this is gonna measure, this is measuring everything that's going into the house. So three amps on that leg. Then about three and a half amps on this leg. So it's pretty balanced. So I'm just gonna keep it on this leg and we're gonna measure the inrush when we start. We've got this inrush button. Okay, push the inrush button so we should be able to measure the inrush when the air conditioner starts. Okay, let's start it. Okay, right now we are 70 degrees outside. Let's just turn this down so the air conditioner comes on. Here are the lights. So this is just with the one wall mount battery right now. Okay, see that? Just slightly, just a very slight dim. It doesn't really bother me. Ninety-one amps in rush. So that is over twenty-one thousand watts of in rush to start that air conditioner. 
Okay, let's see how much DC current comes out of the battery when the air conditioner starts. So I've got this max and min. Zero it. Okay. So the two cables coming out of the battery. Right now there's 26 amps. Yeah, I stopped the air conditioner. Let's uh, restart it here. Two hundred forty one amps. So is that the max draw? You know what? Looking at the spec sheet of this battery, it looks like it can handle anything over two hundred five amps for ten seconds. Now, if it goes over three hundred amps, uh, it can only handle that for three seconds. And uh, anything over six hundred amps, that's considered short circuit, and it should uh, pretty much shut down the battery right away. So it looks to me adding that extra battery is not really going to help the situation. Okay, so I'm just going to connect this battery real quick and we'll uh, turn the air conditioner on. Okay, I've got this parallel cable. I believe this came with the battery. And uh, then I can just follow these instructions real easily here. Put my port, my communication port from here to here. And then my master battery has the one dip switch switched. And the second battery has the second dip switch switched. There's the third battery. Okay, I'm all connected. That was actually pretty dang easy. You know, I do have to clean this up, but I'm just going to save that for a future video. You know, I think I'm going to just get a large wire trough to stretch across uh, both uh, batteries. And then I don't have to worry about the piping between here and I have more space. You know, there's not a lot of space in here. But yeah, this battery is just below 49% and this one is just above, slightly above 49%. So I made sure they were close to the same before I connected them together. And here in the app, it's showing 48%. So that's an average between the two batteries. So I just connect those cables right over here to these ports, positive and, and negative here. And there's an internal bus bar here. I don't think it's gonna work. I think I'm still gonna get the dimming, but uh, let's try it. Okay. Oh, just a slight dim. Oh. Oh, just a slight dim. That's not not a whole lot of dimming there, but I think it's about the same as it was before. So the peak surge capacity of two 6,000 XPs is 2,400 watts. And when my air conditioner starts along with running my house, that's almost 2,200 watts. So that's really close to the peak. Very slight dim. You know, I think when people just generally turn their air conditioner on, even when you're connected to the grid, sometimes your lights dim anyways, depending on where you live. So I got this system from Signature Solar. They've been great to work with. If you've got questions on sizing your system, what kind of inverters or batteries you want for your, you need for your house, give them a call. They'll help you size your system and help you order it. I do have affiliate links in the description. But look what we have here. This is our new toy. This is the 12K PV. We're gonna be taking out the 6,000 XPs and sticking this single inverter in place. Now this unit has a surge capacity of 16 kilowatts for half a second, but I don't know if that's being conservative. Supposedly this has a really good surge capacity, but I'm gonna test it out. But thanks a lot for watching guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.